I feel like at this point a lot of you know me for doing roguelike games, right? But I, I like all kinds of games, and, and one genre of game that I, like, freaking love for some reason is, is like, the automation contraption building games. Uh, and this is a new automation contraption building game called Captain Contraption's Chocolate Factory, which you say that 10 times fast and I think you summon a demon. Uh, this is a new game that came out July 17th of this year, so I'm a little late to the, the party. It's got 18 uh, positive reviews, 100% positive reviews on Steam. Um, we're going to be designing and building machines to combine ingredients to make chocolates, uh, and that's that's really the gist of it, man. Uh, it's got a bunch of levels, it's got a, a level editor and custom levels, which you can post on the Steam Workshop. Uh, and it's, it's just got an interesting vibe. A lot of people say that it reminds them a lot of the game Lemmings from back in the day. Um, which I, I believe I played at some point as a young child. Um, but yeah, I'm interested in this one. Let's play and see what's going on here. You can pick this up for $10. I'll have a link in the description down below where you can find this on Steam. Let's see what's going on. So, factory management, this is my factory management screen. Click the buttons on the left to explore different areas and read messages from Captain Contraption. You'll need the complete objectives to unlock new areas. Okay, so here's area one. Uh, I will read the welcome. Welcome to my chocolate factory. At least that's what the sign on the front of the building says. We don't really know what humans use chocolate for, but we're here to find out. Doesn't that sound exciting? Let's get to work. Okay, let's do almonds one. <laughs> so almonds one. Um... This level has moon gravity. Sure. Uh, I mean, let's play. Our objectives are 75% efficiency, 75% efficiency under par, and 75% efficiency with modifier. Uh, complete this area to play the level with all items unlocked. Just, just launch the level without the modifier to start, and then maybe we'll launch it with the modifier. We'll mess around. We'll see what's going on with it, okay? So this is the machine building screen and where I will spend most of my time. The game is all about experimentation. First, try and get something working without worrying about the cost. Okay, I can do that. Ingredients come into the level through entrances. Hit the play button to test your machine. Build your machine to process ingredients. Get them to the exit. Put your mouse cursor over the exit to see how to produce it. These are your objectives. We understand them. Each level has three. The third one you can't see here is to launch the level with a modifier. Okay. Sure, I'm with it. Drag components into your machine from the sidebar. They can be placed mid-air, but not over other objects. Okay, good to know. Save and load your designs. Last design you created will be auto-saved. So here's the, the almonds entrance. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, and here's our exit. So we, we have to... I mean, it's, it's just as simple as we have to get almonds from the entrance to the exit. Man. Uh... We should be able to do this. Now, what do we have? I have an aimable cannon. <laughs> okay. Which fires solid and liquid ingredients, which enter its catcher. Okay. Um, totally understood. And I can launch you somewhere. So let's, let's play. I mean, dude, that's not bad. That's not horrible. You, you think that we can maybe, okay, that's not quite good enough. They are coming right in, but we, we end up, I mean, they're going to build, yeah, dude, they're going to build like a little path for them. Uh, how good is my efficiency? It's like, okay. I'm going to tell you is, is really quite okay. Objective completed. I got 75% efficiency. <laughs> I, I mean, dude, it's a good cost. I'm going to end my level and give my rating to be honest with you. Uh, that puts me 125th in, in the world, kind of. I did beat my my fellow wholesome verse friend Vlad. He did get me on. Uh... Okay, I gotta figure out what the frick. This is the global leaderboard. It's a global leaderboard for what? <laughs> Efficiency. And then machine cost. So machine cost. How the hell am I 18? Mine's 15, brother. Okay, I don't fully understand this leaderboard, but that might be, that might be my own stupidity. Uh, or no, this is the ma the machine cost. This is something else. <laughs> I don't I don't know what uh, this one is. And then this is the the efficiency. So we can we can make this to be a hundred percent efficient if we want by adding in a conveyor belt that just goes right here. 
And then this is, I mean, there's there's no doubt in my mind. This is going to get them almonds to the finish line and have 100% efficiency at uh, 20 cost. Is it perfect? I mean, I, I think that I like the idea of doing it in five less dollars, um, but I don't mind 100% efficiency. I, I think that that's, that's kind of cool for sure. That puts me slightly better than Vlad on this one. I, I'm just going to be competing against Vlad this entire time. Go check out my good friend Vlad. He's got a great, great YouTube channel and Twitch channel. Okay, um, let's go back to the factory. And let's now launch the level with a modifier to end up unlocking the next level, which I can play right now, but I want to, I want to try the moon gravity. Because my idea here is if we have moon gravity then my guess is that I should be able to freaking launch. Oh my God, brother. Okay. Yeah. That's a little excessive. Let, let's, uh, let's move you as far up as possible and see if I can just straight launch the almonds down there. It's a little off. Let's, let's change you like this. Now that is, I mean, that's the most efficient anything can be. <laughs> If you can do this more... Well, you know what? Hold on. We might be able to do this more efficient, man. Pause me. Because this thing costs 15, right? Uh, please. I want to remove all of these. Delete component. Do I have to move you up there? How the frick do I delete a component? Delete all. You drag them over here. Yes. Okay. Let's just do one conveyor. Yeah. Okay. I mean, that's, it's not great, okay? The efficiency is a little low. Maybe, maybe we bring it down a little so that they get a little bit more oomph. Yeah, you know what? That's actually, that's perfect. They maybe gain momentum. Maybe they're losing momentum. It's hard to tell. But this is like, you can't do better than this. That's 100% efficiency with the lowest possible cost. I'll, I'll take my, my perfect score. I mean, I'm, I'm tied for 61 in the world. How in the world did you get 13? That seems... This is the time to get 75%. Okay, I should have scrolled all the way to the top. That makes sense. I'm good with this. I'll, I'll take my, my success here. Um, toasted one. So we're now, we're going to toast the almonds now. Let, let's see what, what toasting the almonds is all about. So heat an almond to toast it. And then here's our, our almonds. They're going to come from here. So you, you want some regular almonds and some toasted almonds. It's kind of messed up to be honest with you. Um, let's... How do we want to handle this? Obviously, we have to toast them, but we have to then bring them back around, man. Immediately, you've presented an intriguing scenario to me. So, so we're going to... We're going to try this. To then launch the almonds to here. Spin you around. We're going to see if like we can catch the almonds on this and then spit them back. And then on the flip side, we're going to send two of these down. Although now it's it's like super fricks. I mean, this is going to this is going to toast the almonds, man. Okay, so let's just <laughs> Oh, they go through this, not through the smoke. Okay, 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 okay. That's a game changer. So that actually that actually worked great which is interesting so start this again they go through and then they get launched back that's actually like pretty clean man that's pretty clean so let's now set up a conveyor to go this way and and maybe like maybe we can get this to, to work with like a, a simple one of these. Let, let's see how this goes with the toasted ones. They do end up 
making it over to some regard, but they're they're getting screwed up because of these guys. So let's let's continue this path and then launch those over and we need those to get like over over. I think they're like colliding with it in midair, man, and then it's all getting screwed up. Okay. What if what if instead we set up like a little cannon chain and we send these ones through the ticket instead. This this is not horrible. Okay, it's not horrible. It's a little janky. I mean, this this is obviously not the most efficient I've ever seen anything happen, but I have completed the objective. Um I mean, I completed it with 96% efficiency. I'm I'm going to I'm going to pop it. Uh Machine cost was 120. The the par is not 120, man. Uh, we we need to do you again, okay? The par cost is 90. So let's let's try this again. Because theoretically, this let let's let's push you like a little further up. Is that okay? We need to bring you to here and then do a little bit more of this. Okay. That gets... I mean, it doesn't, to be honest with you. I need to bring you a little bit further up. We need to kill some of your momentum in the sky. I mean, we create a nice back for that. <laughs> Maybe if we send it straight. That also does the same thing. Maybe if we send it straight down. That That's so much worse. Let's, let's maybe bring you back up again. We want it to, to... There we go. Okay. So that now squares away that issue. Uh, are you seeing what's happening over here? The almonds are perfectly stacking. This is incredible. <laughs> I've never seen the almonds do something like that before. Okay. Uh, cool. That's good. Let's... Why are we using this? I don't, I don't need this. We can use a conveyor and save money, man. The conveyor is not as fun as the cannon, but for the cost of one cannon, I can do two conveyors. And this is equally as effective. Okay, brilliant. Now, the cannon covers more ground, which has value for sure. But then we need to we need to rotate you back around I mean now I have like wacky ideas that are to catch this guy here because we can now dump you into there and that that starts exporting that and then we would have another shooter here that catches it and launches it into the finish line because th this should, yeah, that's that's actually working extraordinarily efficiently. Well, it is and it isn't. We have other almonds slipping into that. This solves one of our issues. But it, it really does not solve our other issue, which is getting plain almonds over here. Am I, am I stupid? Like, is this... I think this is this is much trickier than it it looks right now. I I think you want something like this. That is getting launched way off of this. So continue. My current cost is 105. This is just dumping a lot of almonds into Okay. I I need I mean, I, I can't, I can't launch these almonds. Oh, never mind. I'm launching them way better than before. But it is kind of killing my efficiency for regular almonds. It's good for other stuff. I mean, 105 is, is better than before. My objective is complete. My efficiency is 98. 
Dude, I think that that's good enough. Okay, I'm I'm trying to min max to. Oh, Vlad freaking beat me on the on the cost though. Andy beat me on my efficiency. Okay, well I mean I have to try again now. How can I make this better? We can make this better by. I don't need these. I can just do a conveyor here, and that's going to not launch that far enough. But this might. Okay, now I'm at 95, but now they have like less, they got less juice to get there. How about now? You got way less juice to get there. Okay, mm. it gets tricky. How about you get dumped straight up and then you go onto that conveyor and the conveyor launches it like far away no it's not even close to getting it far away okay how how do i accurately <laughs> it'll like way harder to figure out how to do this more efficiently um it's like i like this path here i think that this is actually like surprisingly good I just need to shoot almonds. I mean, it, it has to be removing this, and then here I, I just have to shoot into another one, man. So now it's at 110, but I'll at least have 100% efficiency. So Vlad gets me on money. I wonder if there's any way that I can... Oh, dude, I can totally improve it. I can drop another another five off of this. Because I don't need this shooter. I need two conveyors for that. So that's 100% efficiency. I don't care about my, my ranking here. I'm overusing my cannons, okay? Move this out. Bring in a conveyor. The, the cannons are fun, but they're, they're not effective for what we need to do here. I can remove this one too. What what are what are we doing, man? What are we doing? This is this is now 95 and should be 100% efficiency. Well, it was close. <laughs> it was close. That might get there. Let's let's try this. Let's try this. That is definitely not going to work. Oh, that's totally going to work. Oh, look look at how clean this is. It's not 100% efficient though. Because this guy is now It's good enough. It's good enough. You know what? I take this. <laughs> I take this. I take... It's 100% efficiency at $95. The par is 90 on cost, man. Okay. I can do better. <laughs> these are why these games are so terrible for me, man. Um, I don't need this guy to, to shoot, okay? We can remove him and just bring in a conveyor here. Because it's now going to, to fall off of this. And then just get sent back. That's that's plenty good enough. Now we're at 85 cost. Which is really good. Okay? That's really good. Right? Is this, is this 100? Yes, yeah, damn 100, brother. At 85 cost, this is this is a great score. I mean, it's an okay score. Some people did timing a little bit better. I'm tied on 100% efficiency. People that did this in 50 are freaking crazy. <laughs> but I I like this I like this solution. I I do. And then we have a modifier for doing this with just cannons, uh, which is fun. I mean, that's just fun. How do we most efficiently do this, though? That's the question. So do you... Yeah, that's that's plenty good enough. We might be able to bring you even one further. We may be able to bring you even one further. We definitely can. Okay. Let's bring one down to here. This is where we then want to find a way to step you up this entire time. And then, like this. And then another one that is pointed down right here. 
and then a final one that launches you up from here. This might just work. And by might just work, I mean, uh, it's, it's pretty good, man. Uh, okay, not, not quite. You're now, you're now a little too steep. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Is, is kind of clean. 120 for my cost. I'm not sure that I can get that lower. Maybe there's a way, but I, I do not think that I can get that lower. It should be 100% efficiency. It sure is. I'm, I'm going to take that as a clean... Like, 120 is not terrible. Um, For just dumping that one out, I, I take those every day of the week. I, I clobbered Vlad on my efficiency. Vlad got me a little bit quicker. Um, Or on my, my cost. I like that. I like it. Dude, this game is uh, very fun. Uh, look, this one's not going to be for everybody. I, I respect that, okay? But I'm having a blast with this. A nut, just what will we uncover about humans and their chocolates next? We've had to re reconstruct these almonds from archival gene vaults. They're long extinct, apparently. Did you know that some almonds were actually poisonous to humans? They certainly like to live dangerously, these chocolate-making humans. That's nice. Um, thanks for the lore. Chocolate almonds. Adding another layer of, of difficulty. Let's send it, okay? Par is 130. Um, let's figure out what's going on. We got almonds, we got chocolate, and we got chocolate almonds. Heat an almond to toast it. Combine that with melted chocolate. A laser which heats any ingredient which passes through it. Okay. So we need to heat an almond to toast it and then combine that with melted chocolate. We can do this. Conveyor belts to start. And then a heat laser to toast the almond, okay? I will say that some of the controls in this game are a little jank, but we're we're gonna accept that. Is this enough? Will you yeah, okay, so that that is good enough there. Then we're going to send you through a heat laser. That'll bring you down to here. Now we got chocolate coming down this way. So let's let's send chocolate down this way. And we should be able to maintain, like, the same drop distance on these. We may even be able to go... But let's, let's humor something. We might be able to get this to drop, like, all the way down from there. Oh, yeah, got it. Absolutely is the easiest thing of all time. Okay, so then do the same here. My guess is that that chocolate... Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Now we just need to combine them. And the heat laser... I mean, it would be best if we... Heat lasered... Both ingredients at the same time. So, so what if we... What if we set up something... Like this to where we, we almost need to bring this a little further up and then both go through the heat laser and drop through this little gap and then go into the exit is this is this crazy it might be crazy it's pretty good, okay? It's pretty good. It's just the first one that fails. So my efficiency is going to be 98. But dude, my cost is crazy on this. 96. Why Why did one of my chocolate almonds just, just not go through the exit? We'll never know. Dude, 75 for my cost is insane. These people getting 50, they're they're too good at the game, and I don't respect them. Vlad got 100%, but he was at 125, which is, frankly, too high for me. So, let's... Let's do it like this instead. Like, hell, let's do it like this instead. I also just have this chilling out in no man's land. Like, is, is this going to, to work? 
stuff falls. Okay, this is this is not going to work. But I, I like the idea of toasting them in the middle of the drop zone. The first almond, the almonds still make it there sooner. Let, let's try to delay the almonds. Which is a sentence that I will tell you. I woke up this morning and nowhere did I expect to say, let's delay the almonds today. It's one of my favorite things to do, figure out sentences that I never expected to say on a given day. Delay the almonds is a good one. Okay. I have not been able to delay it. Oh, this is so much worse. <laughs> is, is really the almonds are just making it there faster? Yeah, ever so slightly. Yeah, I need I need you to be a little slower. Let's maybe try bringing this down so that we have more more fall time. M maybe more fall time is the answer or maybe maybe we want I mean this So then the chocolate goes through the cooker. I mean it's 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 okay. <laughs> again, this is going to be 98 slash 96 if there's that weird issue again. 96% efficiency. That final chocolate just hits you. Um, 70 is an insane cost, man. I mean, that's, that's 24th in the world. But the almond just makes it through faster. Maybe the trick is we bring in a shooter instead. Like, is, is this crazy? <laughs> I, I think that this is probably crazy. Because then, then you have this idea of trying to, like, toast them in mid-air. <laughs> I don't, I don't see this. I don't see this working. Uh, oh god, it's so much worse. That's just way more efficient. Okay. Okay. So then my new plan is... I think that this is also just... Well, that slowed it down a little, though. It, it hits, like, the lump and slows it down. So maybe... Maybe now the system kind of works again. Because we slow down those almonds after the large fall. There's still a singular... Oh, no, now, now it's just completely fricked. <laughs> I felt- I felt so decent about this, um... Obviously, if we- I mean, this is- this is equally bad, right? They now run into each other, which I think is, like, so much worse. And if we bump this up, then they- they maintain ridiculously fast speed. Yeah, and this- this is just so inefficient. I feel like that we we nailed it on that first try, man. Oh, what if we did this instead? But now the almonds are gonna get there even faster. We we need to make sure that this is like this. Maybe? I mean this is down to 65 for a cost. Which feels even crazier. Um I mean it does toast both of them. But then I need them to land. Wait a minute. Hold on. Brother, look at this. Um, 100% efficiency, 65 cost. This could be the greatest solution in the world. Look at this. Show me the money. 100% efficiency. I'm 20th on, on machine cost faster as well <laughs> okay yeah it's a great it's a great solution 
I, I love that for me. I love that for me. Let's launch this level with modifiers as well. Um, our modifier for this one is faster entrances. Actually horrible, to be honest. Um, so, oh my god. Okay, yeah, way faster. Uh, really horrible. We we need to we need to perform the toasting. I don't know. Maybe we don't need to perform the toasting. Not at the same time. This is going to be interesting though, because they're they're going to be freaking zooming, man. I think you have to accept that. I mean, the conveyors are still gonna move at the same speed though. We we want to do. I mean, this this is truly psychotic, right? There's, uh, those are just falling off the back. I mean, you can't have that. You you cannot have them be falling off. That's also not effective. Okay. Um, I mean, you you can create a wall for them. Peculiar for sure. Um, more expensive, yes, but. At least they come back, which cannot be said about the previous solution. Let's bump all this up a little so that we can uh, ride the wave to here. And then they should still launch off that toast them. We, we need we need one more conveyor because we need them both to, to hit the same time. Again, don't think this is an amazing solution. <laughs> the chocolate the chocolate a huge issue man it's a huge issue do something like this it, it's just getting it's just getting locked up man why why must you come out so fast like what, what's your problem this this is uh and then, to be honest, it doesn't even toast them. <laughs> it's not effective, okay? I mean, this this is this is what you call not effective. All of those getting caught is such a problem. So so my new my new strat is we we need to shoot, okay? We need to shoot them. Let let's remove these because you need to have every single one of them enter the same playing field. So we, we shoot them instead. They're just getting pummeled through this. Why are you why are you shooting them down, man? Although now you actually raise like a really interesting question. Because what if I do shoot them down? Is this even more crazy? Why are they going through you? They they come out too fast. That's so annoying. So we we would have to have two of these then to cover this. Yeah, now they all get sent out, but now they're getting sent out way too fast. So we need both of them to still hit conveyors. The conveyors are going the wrong direction. Okay. No, they're definitely not going the wrong direction. Why were these so weird. One of them's going the wrong direction. <laughs> okay, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Um, it could be worse. I mean, you're looking at it and you're like, Tyler is pretty bad. Um, it could be a lot worse, I think. I think you want to bring these up a bit. And then this like here and then potentially like another one just to to keep them flowing but you also need you need these to go up higher so that they immediately fall in and then these to be up higher the the chocolate just gets there sooner man so so we extend the chocolate's life cycle <laughs> this uh this this guy's the wrong direction this feels okay why are these all just like locked up on here 
that that feels so it feels so anti what what should happen with them like they they just get they just get locked on there man okay bring this one down a little no this this is why why is this guy so so messed up okay delete him for now let's throw another one of these on This is now shooting at the wrong angle. That's way too fast. It's way too fast. <laughs> I, I need it to... Now, now we're just doing stupid things here. We delay... Some of it. The, the, what what are what are we doing? What are we doing? We shoot both of them up into the sky. Rotate you. Remove this guy. This way, they all hit the pipe and then fall down. Now the chocolate's too slow and is still getting logged up. We shoot one into the sky. We shoot one a little further in. We're looking for less less log jams. Why why are you just stuck on a conveyor that's moving? Those are all moving to the to the left, man. That feels so uh That feels bad. That feels bad to me. Why why are you why are you so bad? Okay. I mean, we we are we are not achieving a, a efficient amount of chocolate almonds with, with this methodology. Um, I mean, look, we we can do this the correct way, which is toast both of them and then bring them to one entry point. I mean, that's way too fast. Let's let's remove these again. Because though the chocolate's getting there too fast, which is so funny because it's the exact opposite of the previous level, where chocolate was not getting there fast enough. This at least gives us now a little bit more juice, but we, we want to now remove this because we want to toast the almonds sooner so that by the time they fall, chocolate's coming. Okay, let's do the same with this. And then remove this and then do something like this. Is this okay? I mean our almonds are are, are failing me. Let's do this. Chocolate falls. I mean, I'm gonna tell you that's an adequate amount of almonds getting chocolated. It's 36% of them. That's that's not good enough. Okay. Just gonna be real with you. It's not good enough. So we'll set up a... The, here's like the new strat. The, I'm obviously not winning any efficiency battles here. But if we just dump everything into the exit, they will combine eventually, right? I mean, they will. They, they totally will. Give me one more here. And then nothing can can fail. Like you you have to combine at some point. Uh, okay, we've defied gravity. That's cool. So what? Watch very carefully. What gets there first? One chocolate gets there before these do. But let's try to get. Oh God, they're shooting out the back end. Brother, they're too fast. Okay, it, I mean they're they're just coming out at a pace no man can understand. It's like it's an okay amount, and that it just kind of goes downhill. Maybe we just give them a little bit more space to roll. Okay, we give them more space to roll, more space to collect some some chocolate. Maybe even more space to collect. <laughs> 
collect some I think that we're just I'm I'm like cheating now. This this feels like I'm cheating the game. However, um you know what? That's 96% efficiency. A singular almond didn't get in. <laughs> All of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, this is this is a great solution. Vlad didn't even do this one. I I kind of feel like that we may be able to make this perfect. So try one more time. Let's just see if this resolves itself. And I'm going to tell you, now I'm like, uh, well, that totally broke. Why in the hell did that totally break, man? Now I want to try this solution to cut even more cost. There's no reason to, to do... If we can combine them all at the exit... My time is going to be atrocious. But we may be able to get every almond. I mean, that's another 96. I did lower my, my cost, though. Down to 100, which is a lot better. And then... This is still pretty bad. We may be able to cut a little bit of cost with these. This feels like it's going to be a mistake, but I'm I'm willing to humor it. Yeah, and it was. What what if <laughs> Now now we're just This this is absurd, right? Like we can all agree that this is now absurd. The solution of just, like, hope for the best, dumping a, a crap load of stuff in one tiny spot and then seeing what happens cannot work. There's no shot that this is effective. It is not effective. <laughs> okay, I mean... But maybe if we, we flip it to here, it is? Because now the almonds will... As they come in, they... Well, but the chocolate's not getting there fast enough. So instead, you do it... You do it like this. So that the, the chocolate comes in, it pulls up, and then the almonds flow in. Uh, chocolates are getting lost in the stratosphere. This might work. <laughs> uh, we're, this is now like the meme solutions. If this is how my chocolate was getting made in the factory, I I want a freaking refund on my chocolate, man. And this obviously is not going to work, although I don't know. Maybe... Holy crap, are you seeing that? Have I created the world's greatest chocolate shooter? All of a sudden, that's like super effective to move chocolate quick. Can I do the same thing with the almonds to just shoot them over there faster? Now, now I'm just like... Trying to break the game a little? So they, they hit the top of this. They get kind of locked up in there. But what if we do this? I mean, it shoots them down, but it's, it's not is not the most efficient shooting down I've ever seen of almonds, believe it or not. I've seen much more efficient shooting of almonds in my life. This solution sucks. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the one to tell you, okay? This solution is, uh, is, is absolute dog water. It's terrible. The, what are, why are, why are we even, why are we continuing to try this? This is not a good solution. It was close to being a good solution, though. What What if... We're, we're still launching. And then these just have to be... It's, it's so okay. We lose one chocolate and, and then this just falls apart. I mean, this is, this is bad. I, I think I'm going to accept my 96%. Like, I, I genuinely think that that is a, a pretty good... That's a pretty good solution. And I'll just accept... Uh, I mean, I completed all the objectives. 
Um, that's just me adding more objectives to myself. I'm good with this. Dude, fun little game. Um, and there's clearly like a lot in here of, of different different areas to, to go play and, and unlock more things to use, more things to do. It's it's a great idea. It's a fun little game. Captain Contraptions Chocolate Factory. Uh, check it out. Link in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Alexa looks. Have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.